Inside the New England Aquarium, a friendship unlike any other. If she was being playful, she could easily squirt me and get me totally wet. Meet the octopus and the octogenarian. After 7,800 hours of volunteer work over a quarter of the last century, Wilson Menashe is aptly named the Octopus Whisperer. I do interact with them, there's no question about that. And it's fun. You have a puppy, you'd like to play with it. I play with an octopus, what can I tell you? His steps have slowed down over the years. I come as often as I can. But not his enthusiasm for how this job came to be. It all started when Menashe asked to interact with the octopi in a friendlier fashion. When I first started here, nobody dared touch the octopus. But the aquarium was willing to let me try to interact with them. And I found out they're bored. They're very intelligent creatures. Actually, it's amazing. Human touch opening the door to understanding that octopi are capable of primitive problem solving. So this retired engineer got to work. So we made little games for them. I made these boxes. Some of them opened them quite quickly. But another one decided, hey, it's too difficult to figure this out. I'm just going to crush the box. And that worked. Different strokes. Different strokes, exactly. With eight arms and 108 suckers, octopi can leave a mark on their playmates. I'd occasionally come back with picky marks all over my arm. And as I said, my wife accepted it all. Do the octopi recognize him? With an average lifespan of about three years, it's hard to say. But they have three hearts. Surely one of them considers this man to be a welcome sight. You seem to like them and they seem to like you. It's a nice interchange. How long are you going to keep doing this for? As long as I can. As long as I can.